Welcome back. This is Joe Samo from San Diego. See if you can calculate angle X. Hit the pause button, try it on your own, and then we'll do it together. All right, I hope you tried it on your own. Let's try it together now. Look at the center of the circle. All the angles around the center would equal 360 degrees. Here we have two angles, one that's 75 and one that's 35 degrees. And then we have three lines that go from the center to the circle. Each of those lines is equal to the radius. So this line, this line, and this line is all equal. If uh, you look at that left triangle, you can see that two of those three sides are equal to each other, and uh, which would make it an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, when you have two sides that are equal, then the two angles that oppose those sides are equal to each other. So we can call those two angles Y and Y. And all the angles of a triangle equal 180. So we could say Y plus Y plus 75 equals 180. And the same is true with the triangle on the right. We have three sides, two of them are equal. And the two angles that oppose the equal sides are equal angles. We can call those Z plus Z. We know that those three angles equal 180, so we can come down to Z plus Z plus 35 equals 180. If you look up top, we have three angles, X, Y, and Z. Those three angles must equal 180 degrees because they're all on the same line. So what we can do, if uh, we can solve for Y and Z, we know that X plus Y plus Z has to equal 180 degrees. And as we said before, we know that 75 plus Y plus Y equals 180 degrees in that left triangle. And we know that 35 plus Z plus Z equals 180 degrees. Uh, let's solve for Y. We could uh, simplify, we got 75 plus 2Y equals 180. Subtract 75 from each side. We get 2Y equals 105. And then divide two, we get Y equals 52.5. So Y is 52.5 degrees. Now let's solve for Z. We, we did, uh, let's erase that. We have 35 plus Z plus Z equals 180 degrees. That was from the right triangle. Uh, let's subtract 35 from each side. Then we're gonna have two Z equals 145. Now, and then we divide two to each side, we get Z equals 72.5 degrees. So now we go back to the X plus Y plus Z equals 180 degrees. We have Y and we have Z. So we have X plus 52.5 plus 72.5 equals 180. And then let's add that. We get X plus 125 equals 180. Uh, then subtract 125 from each side. We get X equals 55. And that's the answer. X is 55 degrees. And there you go. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'll keep making these videos. Let me know if you have any questions or send me some other equations if you want to do it. Keep practicing.